there's a lot of things that came out of this journey. The people that I met along the way is really what this is about. My name is Janine Stang, and I'm the National Anthem Girl. If you are a patriotic person, if you love this country, if you love supporting the troops, and most importantly, if you love the National Anthem, then you are going to love this interview, and you are going to <laughs> love this woman, Long Islander Janine Stang, better known as the National Anthem Girl. Welcome back. The, I was wondering how many times I've been with like you yeah. on the show, maybe well, three times, News 12? We, we've done a lot of stuff. We've covered had a long you, history. We've covered you from the beginning. So from for those beginning. of you who do not know, uh, years ago we did a story on Janine as she was embarking on a journey yep. to become the first person to sing the National Anthem in all 50 states. Janine Stang is getting closer and closer to her dream. When you're a kid, you go to these different events and you're just the garden, and now I'm actually singing at it, so it's uh, it's exciting. Not only did she do that, but now there's a documentary that has been made about you. How did this happen? I, let me just tell you. There was a, uh, when I hit state 47, well, actually, no, about halfway through, I was on national news and talking about what I wanted to do, and a film company, Kelly's Filmworks, they sent me a Twitter message. Right. It all happens with Twitter. <laughs> and they said, if you make it to Kentucky and you can sing for the Louisville Bats game, we will come and give you professional footage. Because I, they didn't know this, but all I was doing was handing people my iPhone, like, please film this. Right. And um, then they said, uh, we'll we'll come and you know hang out with you and we'll film you and their husband and wife team the nicest people ever we hit it off and then they said now that you hit 47 we're gonna come to your 50th state which was Kentucky so two years later not mm -hmm. like we just always stayed you know in friendship you know touch mm -hmm. and they said you know we've been thinking about your story and has anybody actually asked you to do a documentary I'm like no, <laughs> no, why? And they said, we'd like to write your story and we would like to put it in, in a documentary. For and I was shocked that anybody would actually even remember that, but they did an amazing job stitching together the story, making it look a lot smoother than right. it really was. And now it's a documentary. <laughs> hey, how cute that is. Well, what's your name? Jenna. Jenna, I'm Janine, that's so pretty. So this is Louisville, Kentucky. This is my first time ever at this airport or here. I'm really excited because it's my 47th state and um, I get to sing for the Louisville Bats. It's going to be five years ago. Okay. Uh, August 28th was when I finished my 50th state. And to watch it back, it brings a lot of memories. And like the people that I met along the way is really what this is about. So Amazon Prime is where people can watch it. And yeah. Or they can go on the website. And it has five star reviews. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, should you? You're a great, great singer. Uh, well, you, yeah. I mean, Janine used to sing the national anthem. Yes. At the yes, Lizards Lacrosse That's how games. we met. That is how we met Lizards Lacrosse on Long Island. I took a job with Joe D. Simone, the owner of the Long Island Lizards at the time, said I could uh, be the PR director and the sales director. Uh, well, not the director, but I just did all that stuff because I said, if you let me sing the national anthem, I will work for you. Wow. And that's how that happened. So wow. Lacrosse Unlimited, uh, there you go. a big deal out on Long Island. So. so when you watch this documentary, obviously it brings you back. but. Yeah. Do you just get a, a sense of an accomplishment? Just watching and going, you know what? That was a pretty big deal that I did. I didn't realize, that it, like, yes, there was, so Kelly and Jefferson, they actually had done something where they said, we're going to take your day in Kentucky and show you what a day in your life was. And there was like seven interviews, whether it was radio, TV, uh, on on the field, up in the, in the press box, mm -hmm. all those things were happening. And I remember when they showed me just that, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, how am I doing this? And then seeing the entire movie back, it also brings that sense of awareness that I remember finishing all 50 states saying, wow, you know, I've said this a lot, I always mm -hmm. say it, America is beautiful and Americans are beautiful. And what they really did with this movie was kind of put this in a you know finite format where it says like, this is what she saw. And a lot of people don't get to travel all over the sure. place. So getting to see that again, just it gives me these warm feelings of, 
wow, like I remember sitting in a diner in South Dakota right. watching this guy who was mentoring a, a young, younger kid and I was mm -hmm. just like, this is America. Like this is the heart and soul of America and I got to have a very interesting view of it, like the cross section of America. Which most people don't no. get to see. And, no. and you know, this country has had some tough times over mm -hmm. the last few years, yeah. but you've, got, you've gotten to see the great parts of America yeah. and what makes America great. Yes, what, yeah. What, any, what are some of the cool stories and sights that you've seen over your 50 state journey? You know, there were so many things and it's hard for me, I, well, watch the movie. No, oh, all right, that's a good plug. <laughs> I am not gonna tell any of you. Um, <laughs> no, but it, really what you'll see is the common thread is we're all family, mm -hmm. you know, and at the end of the day, you know, when I would go to these different places, I mean, my husband always tells it, says it's the Italian goodbye, because I can never say goodbye to people. Right. I'm like hugging them, telling them another five million stories or whatever, but that's what I felt like. And I say this when I do, because I'm a motivational speaker. I speak at companies and assemblies, uh, schools. Um, I also speak at like, you know, corporate w events where mm -hmm. people are like looking for something. And I talk about the reason why I did this journey in the first place, and it was a paradigm shift for me, and I'm not gonna get into it, because that's gonna spoil the film too. But the point is, is that we have the ability we have the freedom to do what we can with what we have where we are. And that's because of our brave men and women who have given us and fought with their lives, paid for with their lives, and their families have sacrificed. So we have that ability to do it. And me getting to go through all the 50 states and the stories, a lot of them I will think of, I always think, there was a Purple Heart recipient who was in the color guard. And I remember they announced him that he was there. Mm -hmm. And this is a superhero in right. our midst who was gonna, you know, he wrote a blank check to America and he was willing to give it all up. And everybody clapping for him. I remember I caught his eye and he just, if you can think of Batman or Superman, yeah. like that like that nod, like, yeah, I just saved a, you know, a right. burning, a child from a bird. And he just like did that nod. And I just remember that hit me. And I was like, this is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yes, there are definitely things that people have to say about the national anthem, right. but for me, it's the people that keep us who we are and the heart and souls behind it. That's who I got to interact with. It wasn't a thing. It was like flesh and blood people, gold star families that I met who, they have a family member who was killed in action mm -hmm. and their pride and the sacrifice that they make every day, every holiday, every, every time they see an empty seat at their table. It was because of a, something bigger than sure. themselves is America. And Absolutely. That's well, what I. That's what I love to talk about. I follow you on Twitter. You can follow Janine Stang on Twitter and you, yeah. you, you tweet a lot about that. Yeah, all the time. I do. Yeah, the anthem girl on Twitter. Follow me. The it's fun. anthem girl. <laughs> do, you, do you still sing the anthem? I do. I do. In fact, I was just asked by a Medal of Honor recipient because I do every year. Uh, Medal of Honor recipients have a luncheon, mm -hmm. and I collect. Uh, cards from people all across the country. They adopt a Medal of Honor recipient. I give them a name and they t they learn about who they are and what they've done. And um, I've become friends with a lot of them and one of them is retiring and I'm singing the anthem at his retirement ceremony, which was an honor for him to even remember, you know, that I do that. But um, there's a lot of things that came out of this journey as a result. And yeah. one of them is Janine's team, which people could go to my website, it's nationalanthemgirl.org and you click join Janine's team. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's a teacher, anybody who has children that they want to um, have them participate in missions that help our veterans. Okay, wow, it's, that's Sometimes great. it's just writing a card, like, hey, there's a 100-year-old veteran who's having a hard time. He just lost his wife. He feels completely lost. Let's show him. We're total strangers, but let's just douse him with love. And that's what that's about. So there's a lot of really exciting things that came out as a result of me getting to see. You're inspiring me now. I am I? Well, you got to join my team. I think I have to. <laughs> I think everybody should. They should. Janine, uh, nationalanthemgirl.org, and then go to join Janine's team, and then just all I need is your email address, and every month you have a mission. Well, I'm looking forward to watching this. Oh, yeah. Everybody okay. should. Your kids have to watch it. They absolutely will. Yeah. You can go Na National Anthem Girls, a documentary, Amazon Prime, you said? Yes, you just type National Anthem Girl in Amazon Prime. Or you could go to Anthem Girl Doc if you don't have Amazon Prime, and you can, well, you can, can I touch this? Sure, you can. You can I've, been, sure. I've been playing with this all the time. You can get your very own copy. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, just unbelievable 
patriotism here and you've done such an amazing job and just remembering you from way back when at Lizards Lacrosse Games to now going big time national but you still remember where you're from. I, what did I, say? I wanted you I, like first of all can I just compliment you I know you've won Emmys but if I was the Emmy board I would give you an Emmy <laughs> for all your stuff because you put heart and soul into all the all the segments that you make I'm always so impressed Thank you. and I appreciate what you've done to help people know what was going on with well, my it's crazy a journey. <laughs> unbelievably worthwhile cause. So thank Boy, you very thank you, much. Jamie. Janine Stang, National Anthem Girl, go check out her story.